The Galapagos has some of the best dive sites in the world and this is our top 5. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to not miss any exciting updates. Floriana, it's a really great welcome to the Galapagos experience dive. As well as a little sea lion friend here, we saw more young sea lions. Uh, but the best thing for me was the five huge mantis we saw on the first dive, which is obviously really awesome. It's got really nice geological formations and black corals, so if you're lucky, you might see some seahorses. We also saw a huge marble ray, some baby reef sharks, a skull of barracuda, some puffer fish, and this beautiful spotted eagle ray just gliding across. It's a really easy dive site, so it's ideal for beginners, and it's two hours from Puerto Euro on Santa Cruz. Santa Fe, we really like Santa Fe. Actually, it's one of our favorite dive sites. There are three spots that you can go, but the one that you will most like is La Cueva because there is this cave and it was so nice. The sea lions, they love the bubbles, so usually they are there. So as soon as we got there, we f there were uh, four sea lions just very playful and you know biting our fins it was a very cool experience most parts of the time the time of this dive we were there just like playing with the sea lions there are also this school of fishes around the cave very colorful and it's awesome uh, apart of that you can find also small nude branches turtles and yeah it's good for beginners because the current is not so strong and it's 40 minutes from Puerto Ayora. I'm sure you're going to love it. Golden Rocks is one of the Galapagos most infamous dive sites. It's locally known as the washing machine and it really does deserve that name. It's basically an extinct volcanic crater with some of the rim still visible of the water and some of it partially submerged. And when you come in on the boat, it's where the adventure starts because it is pretty choppy. In fact, you're going to get thrown all over the place. I severely recommend holding on to the side of the boat. Once you go in the water, it's a negative entry, so you have to go straight down as soon as you hit the water. I mean, it's only really suitable for experienced divers. Once you're in there, it is a treasure trove for the big stuff. So you're most likely to see what it's famous for, which is hammerhead sharks. You're probably going to see quite a few hammerhead sharks. And Galapagos sharks and reef sharks. And there's quite a lot of manta rays around when we were there and turtles and around the rim is really nice also because there's lots of coral I mean there's lots of reef fish so it's a really great dive site and one negative is that the visibility can be a bit poor just due to the currents flowing around and um, so definitely don't stray too far away from your buddy otherwise you might end up losing them no comment if that happened to me um, it's about 45 minutes away from Puerto Yora and if you're going to Galapagos and you have the right experience it's a must see. Kika Rock. Kika Rock is off the coast of San Cristobal and in the name it's because the rock looks like a boot. It's also known by Leão Dormido and there is a channel between the rocks which makes it the perfect habitat for Galapagos sharks. We really love this place because once we got in the water we found this sea lion very naughty just playing around and you know teasing the turtles and uh, hammerhead sharks that for me was kind of new the hammerhead sharks was very afraid of it and we also saw a very huge school of fishes that we could swim together like uh, my experience with a school of fishes when you swim they go away from you but this one was so many fishes that you swim through them and you get kind of lost in a big dark cave they make a kind of cave for you and it was awesome in our opinion is the perfect the best dive site of galapagos if you're not going to get a liverboard darwin and wolf islands are considered some of the most highly rated dive sites in the world they're also only accessible by going on a liverboard as an 18 hour boat journey from the rest of the galapagos and you also need to be an experienced diver with at least 50 recent dives once you're here though, you'll be rewarded with one of the sharkiest places on the planet. You won't just see a few sharks, you can see hundreds of them, including whale sharks like our friend here. The time to see the whale sharks between June and November with August and September being the peak months. I'm going to leave you watching our friend here and if you've got any questions or a different top five, do let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more top travel tips. See you later.